Hey there, Johan's Travel here, and welcome back. Today we are going to travel back a time and bit to March 2020 to be exact. Yes, literally a few days before the pandemic really broke out and most borders and international air travel was shut down. I visited Kochi, formerly Cochin, in the Indian state of Kerala. This southern region has a hot tropical climate not unlike Indonesia. So traveling there any time of the year would be fine for me. I purchased these tickets during a sale with Melindo Air, some nine months before the actual flights. Back then, doing this was perfectly fine. I would not do that at the moment, that's for sure. In-flight entertainment offered was limited, but okay for these two short regional flights with a stop in Kuala Lumpur. There was more than enough legroom for this economy flight though. This plane came in the colors of Batik Air, just as the in-flight entertainment was not Melindo Air branded. They are all in the same airline group though, so that explains a lot. Their meal service was limited on this low-cost regional flight, but the green muffin, a pandan one, and the pizza bread were actually okay. The pizza bread tasted better than it looked, to be honest. After a short stop at Kuala Lumpur International Airport, I haven't been there since, we continued on to another Melindo Air flight. By then it was dark already. This flight was significantly more quiet than the flight to Kuala Lumpur. Malindo Air already had cut the twice daily flights between Kuala Lumpur and Kochi to become a single flight. In-flight entertainment obviously was an error and could not be fixed, nor turned off, which was even worse, if you ask me. The next morning it was time to have a look around in Fort Kochi. The old colonial part of the city, there was once a fortress indeed. Nowadays only parts of the old city remain, but it still has a pretty laid-back vibe to it. This part of the city is located on a peninsula, so it has beaches pretty much around it. But most of them have views over nearby islands and peninsulas. Only those on the very western side are located at the shore of the wide open Indian Ocean. Because of this, there's always some kind of a breeze here, making it nice to spend some time. Don't forget your sunblock though, even though it looks hazy. And later in the day, walking through the commercial and tourist centre of town is very doable. There isn't too much traffic around here in the old city centre. And since there is a choice of places to eat, both cafes and restaurants, it's not that hard to get some good food at reasonable prices. And there is the odd goat on a car as well. Fortunately not on top of this nice Mercedes from back in the day. To get off the peninsula, you can take one of the few bridges. If you are not familiar with driving around here, just take a form of public transport. There are taxis, bajaj three-wheel vehicles and buses like the one I took, like the one I took to travel to the new city across the bay. These buses are old and loud for sure, but for some 20 rupees, just over 20 euro cents, for every one-way trip, that shouldn't matter too much. This is the time for me to ask you to subscribe to this channel if you like this video. If you decide to do so, please also give a like and set notifications to all for my channel, so YouTube will update you when I have a new video out. I am also on Twitter and Instagram, where I post regular updates about my travel plans, actual life travel, and travel related news from Indonesia, as that's where I'm located. The mall itself was pretty empty, not all stores were rented out, and there were only a few visitors as well. This indeed was in the very early stages of the pandemic, so it's possible that people were already reluctant to visit busy places. On the way back from the mall, the bus to 
for a coach, he didn't show up for over half an hour. So I decided to hop on a tuk tuk instead. Yeah, it's more expensive. And probably I had a special price for the obvious tourists, but I wasn't too worried about that. Ah yes, the boulevard on the beach again. Living at quite a distance from it, it's always a pleasure to be at the beach for those few precious days a year as possible. Later in the afternoon, you will see it will get more crowded with local youth doing their thing for Instagram and such as well. On a more quiet beach, more towards the ocean, recent storm damage is visible. This creates a possibly dangerous situation, probably the reason locals avoid this little white sandy beach altogether. In the very late afternoon, down the boulevard, a number of local fishermen came ashore to directly sell their fresh catch of the day. They didn't even have time to properly unload before a mass of locals gathered for their fruits of the sea. Local chefs also showed up to buy fresh products to be turned into delicious local dishes for you, me and others to enjoy. Thank you. 